Okay guys and welcome back to another student questions answered and this one's from John. Now John watched the uh, folder creation gizmo and it set him thinking. Now what John has is a workbook with about 50 odd uh, different sheets in it and this this master workbook is used to, con uh, used to control territory managers and their budgets and their actions on different sites. Uh, now I don't know what the data looks like so this is essentially a blank spreadsheet uh, but my understanding understanding is that we have different tabs so this one TM01 would refer to territory manager 01 uh, and this would control the budget and then we'd have similar tabs for territory manager 01 for site 1 and site 2 then we'd have the budget for territory manager 3 or something like that and what we want to do uh, we, we want to actually, every time we make a, an amendment or a change to any one of these tabs, is automatically save that single tab as an individual spreadsheet and post it, save it to the appropriate territory manager's file so they can see it. And we want to add a timestamp on there so they can see that that is the latest version that they should be looking at. So what I've done is I've also added another tab in here called Save Paths. Uh, so what I have is TM1, TM2, TM3, which match the territory managers along the bottom here. This is obviously a much cut down version from the version that John's using. Uh, but here, uh, this is just a, dy a dynamic named range and I have the individual save paths to each of the territory managers. So territory manager one is C users Alan desktop, my TM folder rod. TM2, Jane, TM3, Freddy. Now these obviously don't have to live in the same root directory. They can be in totally different directories, but as long as you record them here, we're going to be golden. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to record a simple macro to give us our base code. It doesn't matter what it's going to be called, so I'm just going to hit record new macro. Now I'm going to come down here, right click. Now because of the resolution I'm using, it's slightly off screen. Uh, but I'm just going to choose the fourth option which is move or copy and that's going to bring this dialog box up. What I'm going to do is click create a copy. I'm going to come up to here and choose new book and click OK. So here's our new book, book 7. Uh, and from here what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit F12. Uh, I am already here but navigate to the appropriate thing. So we're on TM01 so that's rod. So I'm just going to click that and for now I'm just going to call this TM01 space dash space base which is exactly the same name as this tab. Save. Then I'm going to close the file. Okay, now I'm going to stop recording. Now let's have a look at that code. So here's the code for saving an individual sheet as a separate workbook. Now this is the base of the code. Okay, we're going to take that, we're going to use that to build our code. So what I'm going to say is sub, whoops, save me. Uh, now luckily, here's one I prepared earlier. So I already have all of my uh, my variables declared. So just so you can see, I have dim my tm. That is where I'm going to capture those first four characters of the active sheet name, which is going to give me my territory manager's name. So it would be tm01 or 02 or 03. Uh, my save path, which we're going to capture by using the vlookup function using my tm and reading from that front sheet. My file name, which is what we're going to be building, um, in fact we may not even use that, uh, my year, my month and my day, uh, just so we can have, let me close this off now, uh, just so we can uh, we can build that time and date stamp. So we've used this before, so I'm just going to paste that in there. So we're going to say my year equals now, year now, my month equals month now, so if I just step through that, bump, 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 my year is 2016, my month is 10, my day is 26. Fantastic. Now the next thing we need to do is capture the save path. So again what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop there, I'm going to come back to Excel, uh, where are we? There we go, that's Excel. And you'll remember that this is a dynamic named range here and I can't recall what I've called it. I've called it TM safe path. Okay, close. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, TM01 there and I'm going to say equals V. Look, whoops, V. If I could type, it's a little early in the morning for me. V lookup, that comma and it was uh, TM safe path. There it is, comma, two, comma, false. 
and enter. Right, now I'm going to record a macro to capture that that uh, that function there, that formula. So OK, hit F2, hit enter, stop recording. Now let's flip back to here, and here it is. This is the code. So we have formula one c one equals v lookup. We're just going to take that copy, and we're going to butcher that over here. Now one of the first things that we need to do is we need to find out what the TM name is. So we're going to say uh, my TM equals, and we're going to say active sheet dot name. Okay, so before we get down to the uh, the formula, I'm just going to step through that, and you can see that my name is Save Paths. That's a poor example. We need to be on another sheet here. Uh, let me just delete that. So here we go. So let's stop and step through that again. So here I am on sheet TMO1 base. So if I step through, bum bum, whoops, bum 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 bum, TM equals TM1 uh, space dash space base. Now what I, want, what I want to actually capture are the first four characters. So I'm going to say left, open brackets, was all the way over to the end. I know I haven't finished, comma, four, and close, and stop. Now when I step through, bump, 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 my TM is TM01, and that will allow us to use this VLOOKUP. Now we need to modify this a little bit, so we're going to say uh, my save path here, so my save path equals, and we can say application dot worksheet function dot vlookup open brackets, and then we're just going to delete all of this here. So our vlookup value, this bit, is going to be my tm, which is what we just read. Now this part here, because we're using a named range, we're going to say range open brackets, open quotes, that is our named range, close quotes, close brackets, comma two, comma false. Oops, I've missed something. Oh yeah, we can delete that bit off the end. So now, uh, if I step through this code, uh, we can go bump, 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 bump. My TM is TM01, which is we're going to now use in our VLOOKUP. So my save path will be C users Allen desktop slash my TM folder slash rod. Okay, so far so good. Uh, now all we need to do is add this bit of code here into our code. So let me come down the bottom, bump, 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 and hit Control and V. I'm now going to delete that because we don't need that anymore. And I'm also going to delete this bit down here because we don't need that anymore. So we have sheets tmo1.select. Now we don't actually have to select this because we're already on the sheet and that's where we're going to call the code from. Now what we do need to do is copy. But we, uh, we're we already on the active sheet so I'm going to just delete all of this and say active sheets. Active sheets dot copy. So we have copied the sheet. Uh, this is where I was scrolling around. We don't need that in there. And this is the next important bit, the uh, the active workbook save as file name. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace some of these elements with the variables that we've already captured for my TM, my save path, my year, my month and all that. So we can see here the first part all the way up to there is the save path. So I'm going to say my save path and now I do need that bracket in there to make sure that all that slash in there so I'm going to add that in quote so my save path and backslash and now this is where we're going to put our date stamp so we're going to say my year and uh, my month and my day and and here we're going to have the name of the active sheet so we're going to say active Oops, I can't type active. Have I typed that right? Active sheet dot name, and that will give us the name of the sheet. Uh, and and then we just want that dot xlsx. Oops, missed the dot at the end. And there we go. So hopefully that will give us exactly what we want to see. Okay, before we run that, I've just realized I forgot to put the space dash space in there. So we want my year, my month, my day, and there we want space dash space, and then 
uh, the active sheet dot name. So with any luck, let's uh, let's come back to Excel. Uh, we are on TM01 base. Let's run that code and hopefully, there you go, something's happened. Uh, let's have a look at the folder, TM01, there you go, 26, uh, 2016, 10, 26, TM01 base. So let's just test that out by going to another one. Uh, so that was TM01, let's pick TM02, can't remember who TM02 was, but we'll uh, we'll run that code, bump, 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 bump. run. Uh, there we go, and let's have a look at the folder. A TMO2 will be Rod Jane, I guess. And there you go, two, 2016 1026 TMO2 Site 1. Now, obviously, if you want that to run bl blisteringly fast, uh, just add your application screen updating. Application dot screen updating equals false. And at the end, turn on your screen updating. Application dot screen updating equals true. Uh, and that should now be blisteringly fast. So who have we not done? We've not done number three. Uh, so let's pick that. Let's come back here and let's run our code. Obviously, you can add a button onto each of these sheets. So the second you've made your uh, your change, just hit the button and it should work. So here we go. Let's just hit play. But ump and that should have happened. So let's go and have a look in here. Uh, Rod, Jane, and Freddie was the last one. And there you go. And that's how you do that. Okay. As always, any questions, just let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day. Thanks a lot.